Have you ever thought about how you might be able to get your work done if you weren't able to use a mouse? Maybe you have an injury or a disability or something that makes the mouse unusable, at least for now. We're gonna explore some of the keyboard navigation that we need to be able to be effective using the keyboard. So let's just dive right in. Let's start by getting into the applications that we need. Obviously, after you've typed in your password and you're on your computer, you probably need to open up a few programs. On a Mac, you can use the spotlight feature by hitting command and space, and that will open up this little search box that we can then type in our application that we're looking for. On Windows, you can hit the Windows logo button and start typing as well. No matter what your OS, go ahead and type in what you need and use the arrow keys to uh, select the correct option. I'm gonna go with Chrome because that's my favorite browser and because we're gonna be spending a lot of our time on the internet, so let's go ahead and open up a browser. So obviously I just opened up Chrome, but then I also opened up Incognito if you want the keyboard shortcut for that. It's just Control or Command Shift N, like new page. So for the most part, a lot of these navigation techniques are gonna be useful for other browsers. So go ahead and try these out if you prefer another program like Firefox. Uh, these are pretty basic and in general navigation tips for you. So you should be able to still get around regardless of which specific browser you've chosen. When you're on the internet, the tab key is going to be your best friend. And honestly, it's gonna be your best friend if you're just navigating the computer. It's gonna help you get through forms. It's gonna go through all of the interactable parts of the website. So let's give this a shot. I'm gonna go over to my site, notfind.tech, and I'm gonna start hitting the tab key. And you're gonna notice, hey, look, there's that little blue glow that's kind of around all of these navigation items. And that's really helpful for me because it shows me where I am currently, where am I focused. And that means that once I have found the link that I want to explore, I can hit enter and then go straight to that page. Now I'm gonna go back to the main page by hitting the alt or command left arrow. So even if you happen to either lose sight of the glow or maybe they have a bug or the developer made a mistake by getting rid of this outline here and you don't know where you are, you can still use the find tool to actually help you navigate through the site. This is especially useful if you already know the content that's on the page or maybe you're familiar with it enough to be able to say, hey, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was something like this. I can open up find by hitting control Control or Command F, and then we're gonna type in a unique part of that link that we're looking for. So I'm gonna type in automate because I know that I wanna get to that first article down there. And I didn't even finish the word, so I can actually just hit enter, of course, and that's going to take me to the first instance of this on the page, and it happens to be the only one. So since it's orange, I can now hit escape and it's actually already there for me. So now my cursor, my, my focus has moved to this article that I've highlighted through this text. So let's go down and find a, an older article that's a little bit below our fold here. I'm gonna type in keyboard shortcuts. There we go. So I want this one on the top left here and I'm gonna hit escape again because now I'm getting out of the find tool but now I'm on that where it has moved the cursor down to this keyboard shortcuts. So this is great. We've navigated to the keyboard shortcuts article. I actually wanna open this in a new tab so that I can kind of save it and come back to it later because we do that all the time, right? So I'm gonna hit control or command enter and you can see the tab has now opened up next to our current tab. Now let's say that I also want to hurry and grab uh, the snippet of text that I'm on. I want to highlight it and, and copy it over to something for some reason. You can see that the there's a, a light blue shade over keyboard show short almost. Uh, <laughs> so that tells me where the cursor has been highlighting so far. So I can actually hold down shift and then go to the right one character with the right arrow or I can even go a full word by hitting control or option and shift right arrow and that will get me full words and again it's control shift right arrow if you're on Windows and then option shift right arrow if you're on Mac and you can also do something where let's say we're back here and we can actually go even faster by going down by lines instead of by words so I'm holding shift again I'm gonna hit the down arrow 
And what that does is it sends my cursor directly down as close as it can to the character position that we're currently at down to the next line. So then I can keep doing that. And then of course I can finish off that word by hitting control or option shift right arrow. That also works in reverse. So if I accidentally went a line too much, then we can just go up one more and fix that up. Hey, if you're finding this helpful already, please hit the like button. That'll help automate this so that YouTube can send this to more people who need to hear about these tips. Let's go through a couple more of really important keyboard navigation tips for you to explore a website efficiently. So if I hit space, I'm actually going to scroll down the page about the same length as my current window size. So if you see that I'm going to hit space and it's going to go just below this Python and this Samsung image here. So you can see it's kind of scrolling pretty much that same window size just up a little. And that's really nice to be able to jump down every couple of increments there. Now let's say we've scrolled down too far now and we want to go back up. We can go ahead and use shift plus space and that will go up the same amount of increments, but this time in the other direction. You'll notice that the shift key actually helps us reverse most of our movement shortcuts. And we'll show that in just a second here. So we've already talked about how tab is how you can move to the next clickable element on the page and you can go through it and you can also do shift tab, which will go backward because maybe you went too far and you need to go back a couple of links or interactive elements like, like a form field. Another thing you can do is to use the up or down arrow in order to scroll the page at small increments. So for example, we can't quite see the end of this Python image. So maybe I just need to go down just so I can see the title. Now let's finally go over to the article that we saved in the other tab next to our current tab. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use control and tab and that works on both windows and Mac. So control tab to switch over to the next tab in sequence. So if we had several tabs open, it would just go to one to the, to the right of the current active tab. And actually if we did it right again, because we have only two tabs, it's going to switch back and forth between the two. So let's open up one more just so that we can see. Again, I'm going to hit control tab, move over one, and then control tab again, moves over one more to the right. And you can reverse that just like before, adding control shift tab, and we go backward to the left in, in our case. And if we want to get rid of our current tab, we're going to hit control or command W. So let's instead try to navigate somewhere without going to a new tab. So I'm going to go down here to this article, hit enter. Now I've moved my current tab to this new page. If I want to go back, all I have to do is hit alt or command left arrow to go back. It's almost as if you hit the back button in your browser. But let's say, actually, you know, I did want to go back to that article. So we can just do Alt or Command with the right arrow and it will go forward if we have something in our history that we can go forward to. So if I hit back and then I go to a different article, then of course I have no forward option. This next keyboard shortcut is my absolute favorite. I use it all the time, whether or not I'm trying to be efficient. It's control or command L and that sends the focus to your URL bar. This is super nice if you're trying to hurry and grab the link that you're on. So maybe you've been exploring a site and you need to send it somewhere. You control L, control C, control V, and suddenly you've copied and pasted the URL that, that you were just on. This is also really helpful if you're trying to now go to a different site, maybe you already know where this site is. I'm going to go over to google.com and I'm just going to type in something, search down. We're not quite finding what I'm looking for. Maybe you can always hit the forward slash and it goes straight to the search bar. This is a super nice Easter egg that Google has provided for us. And that way we can refine our search and maybe find that YouTube channel we have been looking for, my other YouTube channel, of course. And notice that some sites will have a skip to content button and Google also has this. So if I hit tab, you can see now it's hovering over something called skip to main content and that's going to help us get rid of. So if I kept tabbing, I would have to go through all of this stuff here and I don't want to have to do that. Right? So if the website has a skip to main content, that's super nice hit enter and it goes right to the search results where we kind of would have assumed that we were going to go to, and then we can quickly go through and find those uh, amazing videos that we want to watch.
If it's not clear to you already, there is definitely way more to keyboard navigation and keyboard combinations that will help you be productive without the mouse. But hopefully this will be enough to get you zooming around the internet and some of your applications. Please let me know if I've missed something big that is important for keyboard navigation, something that's helpful for others. Please let me know down in the comments down below. And if you're interested in a refresher or something visual, you can always check out my blog on notdefined.tech for these keyboard combinations. I'll leave that in the description down below.